Hello chums, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomized Uzlock Episode 4. Last time I very uh, dickishly left you on a cliffhanger. <laughs> so uh, here we go, it's the first ship leader. Uh, I do not want Flapster up front, I was considering doing a little bit of speed up grinding just to get Flapster to 10, but then I thought I'd rather just crack on, I can do Flapster, I can level, I can grind Flapster at any point between episodes, but while I'm at the gym leader, I figure I'll just crack on with the gym leader. So, my man Clomps. Okay. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon gym leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon trainer's school in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Okay, I suppose so. Uh... Alright, first gym, she's got three Pokemon. Yep, three Pokemon and... Oh god, what levels are they? Combustion, level 12, okay. Okay. Okay, I've got the wrong Pokemon up front. <laughs> uh, Zekrom can get out there and water spout it. But I did get the Intimidate off, which could you know, be a lifesaver. Cross Chop. Oh. Water spout! This, this, this has got no reason it won't do a ton of damage. Hey, Zekrom! Burp, burp. Huh. Alright, one down, three to two to go. Plus all, I've got the wrong Pokemon up front. <laughs> oh, good god. Oh, I've got nothing against electric types. Ah, clomps. When in doubt, clomps. <laughs> Volt tackle that probably would have killed Zekrom. Jesus Christ! Uh, uh oh. I feel like I have to bet on a sacred fire here because I've only got regular potions. Um, I. <laughs> Oh no, this this oh clumps, I've, I've just killed clumps. I've just killed clumps! Oh clumps! Oh no! <laughs> clumps! Oh. Uh Why didn't I just switch to J? Electric's not very effective on J. Oh <laughs> Clumps. Oh Uh Wait, uh, no, solar bit. Oh, Christ, I should have picked petal dots. Oh, <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, good God. Um, well, that's the end of Jay. <laughs> oh, no. Please miss, please miss, please miss. Flapster won't be hurt by electricity, but he's level 6! Everybody else is weak to electricity! <laughs> oh no! I mean... Flapster won't get hurt by Volt Tackle. But he's level 6! Bone Maragget! Oh Christ. What are you constricting me with? Flapster, please kill it. Please, Flapster! Flapster, yay! God, what intense first five minutes to an episode. Oh my god. Oh. Can't believe I just lost comps and Jay. But Flaps was absorbing their essence. <laughs> At nine defense. Holy sh. Taki, that sucks. Dragon Claw, yes, you can. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no physical special split in this game, so the more power the better, I say, to be honest. Oh, man, I'm so annoyed. Oh, God, what else have you got now? A snow run. Oh, clumps would have been perfect here, but I'm getting you out because you're a dragon. Uh, 
Uh, what moves has everyone got? Oh, no. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> Plimp, no. I, I think Zekrom's my best shout. Oh, Jay, I'm so sorry. Commented like on your episode 2 saying you're happy to be back in it, and now you're not anymore. <laughs> Uh, what was about? Oh Christ! Dude, you're gonna be you're gonna be super annoying, aren't you? <laughs> oh wait, hey, <there's> Zekrom! <laughs> Please, yay! <laughs> oh, so we got the first gym down, but at what cost? We lost his clumps and Jay. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I don't care what you're saying. You killed two of my friends. I... <sighs> Man, I'm so happy to have to got an Arcanine. And I've wasted the name Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. Uh, thanks for the TM. I... Can anybody learn cut? I was going to teach that to Jay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't even run indoors. I'm that upset. Now, doesn't a thing happen? Get out! Get out of the way! It's the Devon Man. Wait, please! Don't take my goods. Uh, well, Pokemon Center, I need to release Clomps and Jay. I can't believe I didn't just switch out Clomps. What are you staring at? Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I've got some people to release. Uh, I'm going to take the charcoal away from Clomps. <laughs> oh. Right, in the order they left. Oh, Clumps, I'm so sorry. Oh, I got Clumps. Oh, Jay. Jay. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Jay. Oh. <laughs> it's actually really upsetting. It's actually really, really upsetting. I always get so like nervous to record because I'm like I don't want to lose anybody, and then I lost two people in the first five minutes. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, but 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 that is how a Nuzlocke do. <sighs> Hello, Cut Man. Yep, yep, yep. Give me the HM. Yes, thank you. The thing is, can anybody learn it? I was gonna teach that to Jay. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, please. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. I hope I don't need that to actually progress. Uh. uh for now, though, let's progress the story at least. Hello, Mr. Man. Oh, it's you! You're the fantastic trainer who held me in Petalblog Woods! Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the... Devon Goods. Back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I've got you. I am a person with nothing to lose. That makes me the most dangerous. <laughs> oh, I could have had a soul rock. But no, I like plimps. Uh, but, nah, it's... Oh, good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I always worry that after something dies, I go a bit quiet because I'm so upset and I'm trying not to. Ah! Oh, I could have had a hound door! Oh. That's really upsetting. But, is it though? Because it wouldn't become a hound doom? It will more, like, more like it will become like a Pidgey or something. Clamp! <sighs> well, I 
that's oh, just oh. Didn't think the first gym would be such an obstacle, but here we are. Hello. Oh, what am I to do? We're on our walk, Pico, and I will be judged by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. <laughs> Pico. Okay then. What? Um. I don't even know what to say. Uh, uh. Right. Um. Uh, I feel like my sire should have. Uh... <laughs> of course, of course, there's a red ice in this cave. Uh. I can't escape from it. Let's just water spout it, I suppose. Flamethrower is not going to do much against Zekrom. That flamethrower is coming from quite a suspicious place. Uh, what was that? Like, it's, 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 uh... Friggin' Reg Ice. What, are you coming? Come get some then. Oh, I should have healed. I feel like I should have healed, but... Oh, no! Well, let's let's see what he's got and what he does and what he kills and... Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, only one Pokemon and it's a Kadabra easily dealt with. Go ba ba Thunder Punch it! Oh. Okay. So you're taking my illuminate, uh, clamp. Uh, now you're giving it back. All right, this is a <laughs> okay, Kadabra. You do you. Oh, thunder punch, mate. <laughs> I'll take that. No, you can't back. No, 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 give it to me. No, 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 no. You can take it back. No, no, no. I want it back. No, no, you take it. It's fine. As long as he's got no offensive moves, then this is easy. <laughs> cool. Bubba, level 13. Now, I'm pretty sure Chinchiro was by level. Oh my god, I've just done a thunder. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Chincho evolves by level, not stone. Hmm. This is plain not right. The boss told me to be a slick and he's dropped the pull. Just still with some packets for Devon. Titch! I obtained the Devon goods. And Mr. Briny? Yeah, here he is. Oh, am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you. Why is my voice different from outside the cave? <laughs> they call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you are Boingy. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. P.O. <laughs> uh, that's how I get to, uh, uh, Duford. Oh, Hariyama. Hariyama was the very first shiny Pokemon I ever found in Pokemon Emerald, as it goes, actually, when it, uh, first time playing through it when I was younger. I caught it, but I didn't understand what a shiny Pokemon was, so I just thought the game was bugged or something. Uh, I can't get through to you to avoid the grass, because no one can learn cut. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, plimp. Uh. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's just get back to Rossboro. And at the very least, in Duford Town, there's a cave to catch something new. Ah, oh, Wismer, you're normal. You're supposed to be here. Does your sprite always look that evil? Those, I don't like the eyes. That's kind of creepy. But it's better than the 3D sprite where it's got like a Wi-Fi shaped butthole. Oh, hello. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods, you did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. Oh, I never my face. I'll give you another great ball. Thank you. Okay, to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Please come with me. Is there a second sneeze? No, we're good. 
Oh, hello, this is the president of the Devon Corp. Uh, yeah, fine, I'll take that to Slateport, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I catch them? <laughs> Uh, hello? Oh, oh it's a cutscene. Our president would like to have a word with you. Okay. This man is standing on his sofa. I am Mrs. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You have saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favour to ask. I'm turning into Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Dewford Town? I was hoping you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Dewford. Obtain the letter that has unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> That really hurt my throat. I'm going to pull a trick. <laughs> That's why I want you to have this. A Pokey Nav. That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokey Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check locations of Jupiter to stay port easily. By the way, <laughs> I believe making trouble far and wide. I think it's best if you rest it up before you go on your way. Ah. I'm glad no one died. Well then, Boinky, go with caution and care. Yeah, bye then. So this is the building with the, the fossil restoration thing, isn't it? Yeah, one of these nerds is, <laughs> is a uh, one of resurrects fossils. If and when I get a fossil, I can't recall. Um, I might find one randomly, I might not. Oh, hello. Who are you? Is you annoyed that I called you a nerd? <laughs> I've been developing an added feature for the Pokemon app that it turned out great. Boingy, may I see the Pokemon Earth one a president gave you? There you go. New feature called Match Call. Boingy, our president's stone should reach Pokemon Earth. Test it out, please give us a call. Um, match Call. Devon President. Oh, Boingy, since you called me, the Pokemon Earth has been working properly. Other people are registered, so try setting them up too. Do it. <laughs> How can I know that? It's because I'm looking down from my office window. Wahahaha, <laughs> see you again. Do it. <laughs> okay, bye. So now I need to go back down to uh, Petalburg Woods, don't I? Uh oh, that's May. Oh no, that's a battle. Potions help! <laughs> oh, so I need potions and Pokeballs. Uh, uh, ten, I think we'll do. I need potions, I have six in the bag, let's buy four. And I suppose that would do for now. Let's go and fight May. Do I have to fight May? Ah, oh, I thought I could sneak away. Oh, hi, Boing. You had a match call feature put on your Pokemon. Now let's register each other so we can go. Yeah, whatever. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny. Oh, it's Briny. Did I call him Brittany? Did I? I don't know. On his way home, how's your Pokédex come along? One's looking pretty decent. Uh, oh, I can say no! No, but I should, it's experience. Uh, come on in. Yep, fine. Uh. Only two Pokémon, that's okay. L uh. <laughs> of course. Of course. Thun I should have used Thunder. Oh man, a oh, man, a oh, man. Uh, Thunder, let's give Thunder a go. Of course it missed, of course. Uh, Thunder Punch just has to kill it. Yay, it did. I love the gear so much. Woo, that's a lot of experience. Special defense. You're a tank, Bubba. What else she got? Another Lugia? Shuckle. Uh, you know what? Zekrom can have this one. Water spout. I believe it's a bug rock type, but I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay. Is that ra Razor Wind it's using? Yeah, that was the right rock. Cool, 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 cool. Bring little. Baba, Zekrop. 
Yikes, you're better than I expected. It's, I've said it before to my other rivals, it's because uh, I run on fear, and fear is what keeps me going. <laughs> fear and uh, Nuzlocke-based anxiety are great motivators, it turns out. <laughs> so luckily, ah, oh, I can't get through here. Luckily, we can just hop down these ledges and get straight to Mr. Brining's house. And he can take us to Dewford. Hello, hello. Mr. Briny! Uh, sorry to interrupt your bird chasing, but uh, I need you to take me to uh, Dewford. We owe so much to you! What's that you want to sail with me? Hmm <laughs> You have a letter bound for Dewford and a package for Slateport then. Quite the busy life you must lead, but certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. We set sail for Dewford! <laughs> Pico, we're setting sail, my darling! That's a bird. Let's get in the tiny supersonic boat. Do I get a fishing rod here? I think I do. Beep! Oh, bikey! Where are you now? Uh, I'm in a supersonic boat being driven by an old man. <laughs> I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your poking there, so I just. How did he. Uh, okay, whatever, fine. Dad Norman. <laughs> Uh, how are you stopping? Are there water breaks? If I get a fishing rod here, I can catch two things. Ahoy, we've hit land in Dilford. Alright, so let's have a quick heal, just so I make sure I'm ready to go for a fight. Because, uh, yeah, if, if, if there is a fishing rod here, I can fish here and it will count as my encounter for Dilford Town. So let's... I'm pretty positive I get the old rod here. I could be entirely wrong, but this fisherman... Yes! Give me a rod. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Alright, you fo uh, yeah, focus your mind, yep, snack something, yep, caught time to pause, yep, let's go. Oh boy, uh, let's register it so I've got to go into the bag every time. Oh. Not even a nibble. Oh. Oh. <gasps> a bite! Oh, a Pokemon! Oh, oh! Oh! Uh! Okay. Zar 2. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, clamp it. You haven't got a tail. <laughs> what are you whipping at me? Oh, that did dick all. Okay, a couple more clamps. Because, uh, yeah, Thunder Punch and Thunder are going to really hurt it, so... One more clamp. I'll fry a ball. Okay, that's Slatios and Latias' thing, isn't it? Oh, that's... <laughs> all that for that, okay. Right, you're in yellow... Uh, uh, Pokeball, I'll save the Great Ball for something in the cave. I'm going to mash A because it worked last time. One. Didn't work. <laughs> Stop whipping your tail at me. Uh, another Pokeball. Whew. Two. Three. Hey, we caught a Zar too. I called this R2. I've never used this R2 before. It has the enigmatic power of seeing the future. Some people in different lands have long believed R2 are emissaries for another world. Hmm. Huh. So in that case, I'm going to call you. Fred. <laughs> Fred the alien R2 from outer space. Okay, so. I could do the Route 106 encounter here as well. I could fish and fall. Uh, no, I'm going to surf on it later. But for now. Oh, that happened quickly. I'm not going to look, I'm going to listen. That's a pony top. <gasps> it's a rapid dash. Oh, a fire type to replace clobs. Oh. Um. Uh. 
premiere ball right off the bat while mashing A. Even though I know mashing A doesn't work. One, two, ah. Oh. Willow Wisp, that's a burn. Huh. It's a burn which lowers my attack. A uh, clamp would be super effective. But it's not a particularly strong move. You know what, I'd rather put in somebody around its level. What level is it? Nine? Eight. Uh, nah, Flap still probably kill it. Uh, plimp with Beat Up. Actually, no, crap. Beat Up, uh, beat up will do five attacks now, won't it? But I mean... I'm... Uh, okay, rough skin, yeah. Let's try one beat up. It's gonna hit five times. It's not a massively strong move. Ah, oh, this won't kill it. I'll be fine. Flap up. Plimp. Fred. <laughs> uh. Another one of those, and yeah. Because if it keeps hitting me, it's gonna get ticks of my rough skin damage. Um, if we get to the yellow, I'll great ball it. It's a very slow move, this, isn't it? Blimey. Um, uh, one more. Yeah, one more. Is that Grom? Okay, that crit. Flap star. Plimp. And Fred. Oh, oh, excellent. Okay. Right now we switch out. Because any more physical attacks is going to get hurt by the rough skin. Sacro! Good. Alright, uh, now let's, uh, let's huck a great ball. Well, mashing A. One, two, three. Yay! Rapid dash! Rapid dash. Usually canters casually in the fields and plains. Once Rapid dash turns serious, its fiery means flare and blaze as it gallops to 150 miles an hour. Uh, rapid dash. More like. Hill. <laughs> Hillman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, we're back at six Pokemon. And I do think some grinding has to be done because I know for a fact this next gym is going to have Pokemon closer to 20. And I've got level 9s and 8s. So, chums, episode 4 ends here. Once again, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Give us a like, comment, and a sub. And I'll see you guys in the next one.